Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new HJC Arfa X Dirt Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. Now, the Arfa X is part of the Arfa line from HJC, new for 2012. We've really seen it continue on the technology that was first introduced with the RPS line in 2010-2011. Now it stands for Revolutionary Performance Helmet Advantage, which I say bravo to the marketing guys at HJC. But really what that stands for, when I break it down into terms that matter to us motorcyclists, lightweight, strong, high-end materials. ARFA, R-P-H-A, that's that ARFA acronym we're using, they all have the PIM shield, the Performance Integrated Matrix, which is carbon fiber, fiberglass, and aramid a blend. Super lightweight. We see the ARFA X, there's the ARFA Max, the ARFA 10, replacing the RPS 10. Here in the ARFA X, this is the dirt offering. Completely new from HJC, north of $300. This is a rock solid option that is light years beyond HJC's previous dirt helmets with like the SPX, which really was in, this, in the middle of the bell curve, something that I would consider to just be a medium range helmet. Now here's the matte black version. There's also graphics available. There's a lot going on here. The first thing let's hit on really quickly is weight and fitment, things that you need to know. The weight came in at two pounds, nine, 2.9 pounds, so 2 pounds, 15 ounces. Very, very lightweight for a shell, extremely lightweight. Notice the aggressive stance. You're not giving anything away. You're just using high-end materials to keep it lightweight. Past that on the fit side of things, we tend to think of HJC as pretty round. I think these are intermediate to neutral. I think this helmet fits like something like an RXQ from Arai, where it's going to be intermediate to neutral oval. And what for a guy like me, I can wear this helmet. I just feel a little bit more room on the sides in the temples for a wider head shape. Now, if we look past it at some of the creature comforts, you're looking at the ACS system. Again, got to love the acronyms here from HJC, but advanced channeling system. So you're going to get great airflow. The EPS has cutouts. The airflow will go all the way back down and extract through the back. 11 intakes, four exhausts. So if we look at the front here, four intakes on the front, intakes along the brow, here underneath, one, two, three, so that's seven. There's actually two that you can't see up here that gets eight and nine, and then what you have for intakes are also these additional chimneys up here, both on top, and there's your 10 and 11. These are big, big channels in the EPS that then extract to these four extractors in the back. We have the two holes here, and we have them down here low as well, and that high-speed air is going to help suck that air right out of the helmet. Other key feature on the Arfa Max is the Cool Forever lining. Now, we've seen Silver Cool in the past from HAC. We actually see Silver Cool in the Arfa 10. Cool Forever now is in the Arfa Max and the Arfa Dirt, and what that means is it's antimicrobial, it's wicking, it's odor-free, but now Cool Forever means that the helmet's properties are very soft, very luxurious on the inside, but the guts actually actively keep you cool. So I call these the cool as the other side of the pillow helmets, where they're actually meant to help keep the temperature of your skin down by trying to wick away and absorb that heat. New technology we haven't seen in any helmets previously, nice from HAC. Look at the fit and finish, premium details. Again, the shape of this, it reminds me, they might get mad at me for saying this, it reminds me of the VFXW from Shoei, really aggressive shape. You know, the way that this integrates with the goggle strap is actually gonna be built into the shell. And one of the cool things, if we look at this flare down here along the edges of the neck roll, so we have a flare on this side and a flare on that side, it's actually meant to interface with the table of a neck brace system, like a Liat or an Alpine Stars. So you have the ability to work, to play well with others there. Other cool features here, you know, the peak, what you can't see is underneath the peak is a matte finish on all of the peaks, so it reduces glare. The peaks are meant to break. They're also meant to shear with a plastic bolt. You don't want to have, a, you don't want to have anything that's going to dig into the ground and act like a sail if you go down on a dirt bike. So again, everything on the exterior of this helmet, really here it's the beak, is meant to kind of crumple or break away immediately. Another cool feature is behind this little ARFA logo, this new R that HJC is using is a little screw. It allows you to remove your front roost guard, your breath guard here. HAC is actually going to offer replacement colors and styles so you have the ability to customize your helmet. Let's move into the guts here briefly. Here, let's start with our cheek pads. Snap system, basic in its construction. You do have some extra pockets in the ears which come out that allow you to tune the helmet if you like. Three snaps, if I can get to them. There we go. And the whole neck roll just comes right out. Again, nice touch. I want to note as well that 
Also with the Cool Forever, which is very soft, the way that HJC has designed all the new Arfa Series cheek pads, the way that they meet with the comfort liner of the shell actually are really easy to use glasses with. So again, it's, they were being forward thinking in the ergonomics and the shape of the pads, so now using glasses is even easier. There are some helmets that don't leave you room to have that cut out there where your glasses frames need to go in. They make it a little more difficult. So notice big neck roll, Easy to remove this stuff, easy to wash it. You're not going to hurt it. Run it underwater. I like when neck rolls and cheek pads work together. It gives you a better contour. Again, cool forever system. Now getting into, there's also small pads that go in front of the ears, really tuning for noise and comfort. You can remove those out if you like. Have them on both sides here. And as I break down the Arfa X, the other thing I want to note is in the front here, as you can see coming in there, it doesn't connect up by your forehead. It connects actually at the brow to the helmet itself. When that happens, you have the ability to get those snaps away from the forehead. You don't have any, there's no chance you're going to create a pressure point, which I really like. 3D in its design for the Arfa Max Comfort Liner, or the Arfa X rather. Notice, again, cool forever material. Snaps, these bottom of the neck snaps on the back here, you're not going to feel. And then again, you have the brow, the brow snap, which means that you're not going to feel it up here on the forehead. And if we look at the ACS, the advanced channeling system, I want you to start actually down here where my finger is. So if we look, we have big channels that start right along the brow, right along the eye port, and they're gonna funnel all the way back into the helmet. And now you can see as they come back here up along the top of the head, you see those big holes, the big cutaways, they're huge, bigger than 10 millimeter, allow you to get great venting out of the helmet. Also on the inside, I wanna show what the back of the mouth guard here in the roost protector area. I wanna show what the back looks like there. You can get a good shot of that. Double D-ring in its construction. You even have Cool Forever on the D-ring. It's all washable. Again, a nice step up from HJC. DOT rated here in the Arfa X using that PIM shell, high-end materials. This is all stuff that was developed with racers and uh, Ben Spees in MotoGP. You know, we saw him break out the RPS 10 a few years ago and now it's become fully incorporated that technology into the Arfa family. Let us know your thoughts. If you're currently wearing it, if you're seeing it for the first time, join our discussion on YouTube. Click right here to subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave us a comment. We'll update you with all the new gear reviews that are constantly rolling out. Also on our product detail page at RevZilla.com for the Arfa X, you can leave any comments that you like or any questions, we're happy to answer them. If you want to talk to a live person, you want to talk to a gear geek, you want to talk to our team, we all ride. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Get in touch with us. It's what we do. We're happy to walk you through the beauty of some of these new HJC helmets or any helmets that might go up against them. And as always, if you're concerned, ships for free, exchange free, no restock fee. If you need to send it back to us, you can earn Teamzilla cash because it is over 100 bucks. Super lightweight. Find it at HJC on RevZilla.com, RevZilla.com slash HJC. This is the Arfa X Dirt Helmet, new for 2012. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.